You own your own recordings and the copyright of your own songs, so you may think about releasing them. These days, releasing music with an established record label isn't the only way to get your foot in the door. Releasing your own EPs, albums, and singles online is a serious and pretty common option today. With so many tools and services available to artists for cheap or even free, there's no reason why you can't self-release your music and generate additional revenues with your hard work. There are, of course, benefits to working with a label for this, from reputation and association to having someone take care of your financials for you and handle everything from promotion to artwork and mastering. Of course, there's also the flip side, where self-releasing may allow you to take a higher percentage of sales and creative control. It all starts with making your music and having something that you think is worth putting out there. You, as an artist, may decide to release singles, EPs, or to wait and compile albums. But thankfully, this process is essentially the same, regardless of how much you intend to release. Every release that goes on Spotify, Deezer, Apple Music, Amazon, Google, and all the other places, is distributed to those stores. Some stores allow you to sign up and add your own release to the store, but most of the big ones, including Apple Music and Spotify, require that you have a distribution company for that. Ultimately, distribution companies come in two main formats. Online self-managed digital distribution platforms, or regular distribution companies, sometimes also covering physical too. These distribution companies can license your music to social media platforms like YouTube, Facebook or TikTok and collect royalties every time your song is performed on these sites, as well as download stores and streaming platforms. Digital release of your songs can also be made in video format, the traditional music video, that can be shared on social media and also generate revenues every time the video is watched. Generally speaking, it is preferable to find a local digital distribution company who does not charge you any upfront fees, but rather becomes your partner, earning a percentage as your distributor. Beware platforms who claim to pay you 100% of your royalties. You cannot know for sure what kind of deal they have with the platforms. So their 100% might be in fact much lower than a proper distributor who splits the digital rights royalties 70-30 with you and does not charge you upfront. It is also recommended that you pick a distribution company that is a Merlin member. Merlin is the streaming negotiator for the independent sector. So if you choose a distributor that is an associated member, you know they are getting paid proper amounts from the platforms.